In this video I'm going to be introducing you to the number pi and also how we can use that to determine the length of the circumference of a circle. So the number pi has been investigated for many thousands of years and it's a very special number. You can find it on your calculator, it's already programmed in. So for a Casio, and it may be different on other calculators, but for a Casio to find it, you'll find it in yellow right down the bottom above a button that says times 10 to the x. So if you do shift and then that button, a little pi symbol should come up. The pi symbol looks like this. That's pi. Now if you press equals, it'll put it onto its main screen and then press the SD button to turn it into a decimal, so the SD button, you should be able to find that it's 3.141592654, etc. And this number continues forever, okay? It doesn't stop, and there's no part that repeats itself. So, um, it doesn't repeat itself, and so it is one of these numbers that's known as rational an irrational number, and it's been investigated, as I said, for many thousands of years. Now, in what way is it used, is really why we're here. And it can be used to find the length of the circumference of the circle. Now, the circumference is that length all the way around the outside, effectively the perimeter of the circle. And it can be found... using one of two formulas. You can either use pi times d, or pi d. This means pi times diameter. Or, it's the same as 2 pi r, which is 2 times pi times the radius. And these are the same because the diameter is just 2 times the radius. So these formulas that we have here are exactly the same thing. And it's really up to you which you use in which situation. For this one, for example, we have that the diameter of the circle is 18 centimetres. So it makes sense, having already got 18 centimetres, that I would do pi times d. But if I'd been given the radius, let's say uh, the radius was 9... I'll rub that off properly. Let's say the radius was 9 centimetres. Then, because I've got just the radius here, then I might as well use 2 times pi times r. Or, I could go, well, twice the radius would be 18 centimetres, and then I could use the circumference one there, pi times d. doesn't matter. So, in this sense, in this case rather, We've got the circumference is going to be pi times the diameter, which is 18 centimetres. So on our calculators, we type in pi, then multiply it by 18. And on one of these newer Casios, you'll probably already get 18 pi. Press the SD button, um, and then it should come up with a decimal. That's what we want. So you should find it's 56.549 to three decimal places. Okay. Now the number of decimal places uh, that you're required to show depends upon the question. And it will be specified for you. But that is how you can find the circumference. Multiply the diameter by pi and then press the SD button or if, if necessary. 